Welcome to CEO Money. I'm Michael Yorba, your host here with Merv Price, co-host on CEO Money. All right, on this segment, we're going to be interviewing Mike Nealon, who is the co-founder and CEO of Tree Zero, and Craig Ramsey, the president of Tree Zero. Mike, Craig, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thanks. All right, my pleasure. Uh, when how I'd like to start with is if we could bring your personalities out, your backgrounds out, and then let's get into what Tree Zero's Tree Zero does and how it separates itself from the rest of the pack out there. Mike, if we could, I'd like to start with you. Yeah, my background. I'm a I'm a, a serial entrepreneur, and uh, my last company was the uh, I was a founder CEO of the the largest wholesale gift and home products company in the in North America. And uh, then um, I was also a, a founder and CEO of a uh, large international sourcing company. And, um, and here I am in the middle of a paper company. So uh, I, uh, I was actually traveling around the world with my sourcing company, and, and I decided I want to go ahead and create a new company that's based around sustainable products and uh, to, to build a company with a, with a higher purpose. So I... Uh, I found a, a, a product, a paper product, that was made from sugar cane and, and uh, some tree, some pine in it. And working with engineers, we engineered at the pine and to create the, uh, the world's only tree-free, carbon-neutral paper on the planet. That's amazing. You know, my girlfriend always says, save a tree. You did it. Craig, let's bring you in. Uh, and tell us a little bit about your background. And, uh, Mike, I just want to say you're, you're more than modest because I'm looking at, you know, you did business with Pepsi, Tropicana, uh, a number of other companies. So but I just want the listening audience to know that, you know, there's more to Mike's story than, than his modesty here. You've got a, a huge depth behind you. But, Craig, please, without further ado, let me hear about you and, and tell our audience what you bring to the table for Net, or Tree Zero. Well, I appreciate Michael, you and Mervyn having us on the show. It's great. Um, my, my short background is um, 33 years with Accenture. Started my career at the time when it was Arthur Anderson in the uh, consulting division. We that then that became Anders Consulting. I was a partner there, and then we took the, that company public and became Accenture. And last year, after almost 34 years, I retired, and I had learned about Tree Zero. It was introduced to Mike and, and Ed Kennedy, the co-founder, by a former partner of mine who had, who had also retired from Accenture, by the way, a real conservative investor. And he said, I'll tell you about this thing called Tree Zero. And I said, what? What did you do? So once I learned about it, I was absolutely just so impressed about what the company's all about, what it was doing, and I knew I had to get involved. So at the time, I was still fully gainfully employed with Accenture, so I became a passive investor. And then, like all of the other investors in Tree Zero, I just saw the tremendous potential to be an incredibly successful company and make a difference in the world right now and for the future. So I came out of retirement and joined the, uh, the team as president this past year and assumed the uh, role of president. Wonderful. All right, Mervyn's got a lot of questions for you, but let me start this one off for him. You are revolutionizing the paper industry. Tell us how you do that. Well, I tell you, we recognize that the uh, the last new paper that was introduced to the market was over 50 years ago, and that was when uh, recycled paper was introduced to the uh, to the U.S. market. And we thought that 50 years there probably should be something a little better than uh, recycled paper. Recycled paper is good, but a total tree-free, carbon-neutral paper is great. So we want to disrupt it by bringing in a better product. And we have a better product, and we're going to go to market in a better way and have a uh, the uh, the only tree-free, carbon-neutral paper and do a disruptive uh, uh, some disruptive sales technologies. Mike. Um, this is Mervyn here. Tell me a little bit about your company, where it's located, um, what, what, what the roots of the company are and why those roots are so important. Well, I'll tell you, we are located in, uh, in Atlanta, Georgia. All the senior 
all the senior management is located in Atlanta, Georgia, and a good part of our investor and advisor group is is uh, located in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, so it's our home. We all have families here, and uh, our the business environment in in Georgia is very very strong. And uh, Craig has uh, a lot of experience because of his, because of his position with Accenture and. Um, Greg, why don't you go ahead and speak to that? Sure, Mervyn. I moved to Atlanta in 1968 and then uh, started my professional career in Atlanta, although I was on planes and trains, as you can imagine, in the consulting world. But Atlanta is home to some of the world's most respected brands across any different industries. I was pleased to actually have many of those as my direct customers being Coca-Cola, Delta, Home Depot, UPS, AT&T, Equifax, et cetera. But they, Atlanta has companies in essentially every industry segment finance, technology, communications, media, entertainment, healthcare, transportation, energy. And for Tree Zero, that's great because our products can be used by any and all those companies, as well as college universities, governmental agencies, and consumers. So our operations, Mike said, is firmly rooted here, and we've received great support from the city through our growth. But it's also known as a city that's supporting a lot of startups. So we're very fortunate to have been in a, a vibrant community that helps startups and a perfect place for our what I call our nice, disruptive, and innovative business. Let me let me ask this: you you've got something that nobody else has right now. You're and you're actually doing aside from making money and making people who've invested with you money, you're doing something for the environment. You're impacting it uh, like your competition isn't. Bring that out for us. Well, I tell you, it's a. Uh... We, we, we've developed businesses before, and we have a, um, we've got a, uh, uh, a premise in our company that we, we, we only do business with people that we would sit around a dining room table and have dinner with or lunch with. And so we have a, this principle that uh, it's not only just the product, but it's you know, great, great people make great businesses. And we have great, great people involved in our, in our company. And we have a great product, and so we uh, build the the company around people. And uh, it's all it's all about business. is all about people. If you have a great product, yeah. So Mervin, and Mervin, Mike, I would I would add to that. So the core product is really copy paper, right? It's multi-purpose copy paper. So it works in every single type of printer and copier that's out there, and it's high volume, black and white color. All the above. So it's you, you pick up the paper, it's the paper you see in everybody's business. But it does not use any trees. And Mike is also very modest. He worked with the engineers in the mill to engineer out the combination of the raw source, which is a bagasse, which he can tell you about, and trees. So we've engineered out of the process, the pulping process, the trees. But the second aspect, to Mike's point of carbon neutrality, Tree Zero want to make a commitment to the environment by combating deforestation. And we offset all our carbon emissions to help reduce that uh, emissions. So it's a huge issue for the world is deforestation and use of waste. So we actually use a waste product for the raw materials of the company. That waste product is either burned or landfilled. So we take it and put it to use. But we saw deforestation as a serious problem and wanted to make a difference for the, for the future as well as right now. So recycled paper was that first step. That's great. But one box or one pallet, which is 40 boxes, of 30% recycled paper saves seven trees. Well, we took that to the next level. One pallet of tree zero paper saves 24 trees wow. or three times as much as the recycled. But because you know this paper is made from essentially sugarcane waste, which Mike will talk about, it's really a useful product in recyclabling systems today. So the paper goes right into beautifully into today's recycling process, which further advances the circular economy. So we're really emulating other companies and sustainability leaders such as Interface and Unilever and others. So we really pride ourselves to be that very nice disruptor in the marketplace. 
I'll say that you you are. Now we've got to go go to a break right here, but you you two are going to stick with us, and we're going to come back and discover more about Tree Zero, your processes, the kind of uh, things that you're doing for the environment, but let alone for your shareholders, right? Yep. Okay, we'll be right back on the other side of this break with Mike Nealon, co-founder, CEO of Tree Zero, and Craig Ramsey, president of Tree Zero. You've been listening to CEO Money. That's CEO Money with Michael Yorba, Mervyn Price, and today, Tommy Habib. <laughs> 